let's learn something about the trigonometric identities now an identity is basically something which is true for all the values of variables involved let's say you have a right angled triangle okay a b c right so let's say this is the first trigonometric identity a trigonometric identity basically is a relationship between certain identities which is true for all the values of the variables okay let me first derive one identity and then i will kind of explain as to what does that mean now given that this is a right angled triangle you know we know that under the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square now the hypotenuse here is what ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square right that's how the pythagoras theorem holds now let us do one thing let us divide both sides by ac square so once you do this basically what you get is ac square divided by ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square divided by ac square or you can rewrite this side of the equation as ab square upon ac square plus bc square upon ac square right now this is simple both of them cancels out each other so let's just put this as one on the right side now this you can also write as ab upon ac whole square plus bc upon ac whole square and just i mean both of them are squares so i just put it down and put in like this now carefully notice what is ab upon ac if you consider let's say angle c okay so from angle c's perspective ab which is this side upon ac is what it is basically sin c right or let's consider this from a perspective of angle a only instead of getting into more complications now from angle a perspective ab upon ac is what it's basically cos square a it's cos a so square will give you cos square a plus bc upon ac this side upon this side is sin a so this will give you sin square a is equal to 1 So this is your first identity and what will this mean that whatever be the value of a let's say you have a is equal to 45 degree you have a is equal to 90 not 90 actually 60 degree in all these cases whatever be the value of the a the sum of cos square a plus sin square a is always going to be 1 so this is your first trigonometric identity right 